Is it really that nice outside today? Well, I already know it is, because this is the only day where I've ended a vlog and started another one in the same day. And still continuing the blue sky and little white clouds. Hey, what's up guys? Ryan Rigg here, the host of your show, Ryan Vlogs 2. Not the number two, not like you're going to watch this vlog, but T-O-O. -O. Like in addition, like also. How you guys doing today? It is Memorial Day, that is correct. So hopefully you've checked out the vlogs um, the last couple of days, just kind of see what we're doing. Let me know down in the comments below, are you guys traveling? Hopefully you're staying safe. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. Um, and just remember what Memorial Day is all about. Uh, we talked about that, my son and I did, uh, during yesterday's vlog. So make sure you check that out. It is Sunday afternoon for us. The, it's crazy too, because yesterday's vlog, part of that ran into today. So like I said earlier, it was... I think the first time where I ended the vlog, or put you know the tail end of a vlog also in the same day as I started a new one, so I guess it happens like that. And your feedback on that vlog is like it's been out like an hour or something, and it was like you guys were incredible, all the comments on there. So thank you, do appreciate that. And I was like, what just happened with the television there? My peripheral vision kicked in. Apple TV's on, so now it's switching to screensaver. So, it is about 90 degrees again today, so I think that's, what is that, 30 degrees Celsius, roughly, somewhere in there. Be a nice and sunny blue sky with the little white clouds, and I wanted to show you guys something. I dropped my phone the other night, uh, Brayden and I were getting in and out of the car, and I, I dropped, I've dropped it twice now, and no case, of course. And it hit the ground, which was fine, nothing happened, let me dial this down here, that's alright. And then nothing happened. And then today I was out in the sun while I was filming or flying the drone at the park. Uh, the sun kind of caught the, the angle of the screen. And then I looked down. And then right in the corner, there's just like a... It's so hard to see. It's just a hairline fracture in the glass. I doubt you could even see it. It's so faint. I don't even know if I can get an angle to see it. Either way, it's like hairline thin so it went from the very little bottom to the very little side so i'm thinking it won't you know like spread anymore so i'm gonna keep my eye on that but it's like i've had that phone for six months now not bad uh but i've never damaged a screen ever on a phone and it happens so i guess knock on wood that it doesn't happen again but uh you guys ready to get into the day today I'm not sure what we're gonna do but we are gonna tackle it and it's gonna be fun. So hopefully you guys come along and uh, let's hang out. What's up, buddy? What's up? Well, I had the police behind us, but he turned off there. We caught a big break. Not like we were doing anything wrong. We are in the car. Well, I guess I really don't need to say that, right? Because <laughs> we're in the car is pretty obvious. But in case you didn't know, we are in the car. But uh, look at the sky today, buddy. Oh, Isn't yeah. it incredible? It's great. I love when the sky is, even though there are some clouds, I love when it's like super blue and then the clouds are super white. It's just, I don't know, it has a cool looking, it almost looks like fake, you know what I mean? Like without even editing video, the clouds still look good, but if you, you know, push the colors just a little bit, you can make it look even better. So we were just cruising down the road, 90 degrees outside, almost, well it says 88, so close enough, 88 miles an hour. <laughs> what's significant about 88 even though it's 88 degrees but what's significant about 88 miles an hour mr brandon in the delorean you have to get up to 88 miles per hour to time travel that is correct otherwise time travel would not be possible no i'm pretty Fox confident capacity. that might have been my old car right back really? there yes as we get over watch out we have a jeep behind us it's like looks like casey neistat and candace same kind of jeep it's not because they don't drive around here for sure so, I have uh, was spotting a new location, so Mr. Braden, I'm thinking that we should go home and grab our, our, our tools, our instruments, our devices for flight. I found a nice little, you know, since it is a Sunday, it's the day before the holiday, you know, we had kind of a little more emotional, sad day yesterday, today a little more maybe happy dynamic. Not that yesterday wasn't happy, but... You know what I'm saying, yeah. right? So, I think we'll head home. I've got my Canon in the car now, because you don't, it's like American Express, you don't leave home without it. I've learned too many times, just bring it, no matter what you're doing. Even if you're 
have no even thought. Like, I am absolutely not filming or recording anything. Still bring your camera. I think it's good to have in case you want to take a photo or, as I said the other day, a photograph. <laughs> not a lot of people still use the full word photograph. So, we're going to head home, grab the Phantom, and then I think, well, you'll just see where we end up. <laughs> Hopefully it's cool. Yeah. If it's not, then you can blame it on Mr. Brady. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. If it's not cool, you can blame it on me. Because I'm the host of the show. That is one thing about the Memorial Day weekend is there's a lot of people traveling, but there's also a lot of police out. And, well, we had, it looks like another police officer behind us in a very dark, black, blacked out SUV. That was a big Ford Expedition. He had one headlight. He doesn't need his headlights on right now, but he did only have one. I hope he knew that. I guess someone would probably tell him, hey, you got a headlight out. Because it's hard for him to stop someone in a traffic stop and be like, hey, I stopped you because you have a headlight out. I did or you did. Uh, either way, you're still getting a ticket. So, you got to look out. Stay safe out there. If you guys are traveling today, like we're trying to be safe with the GoPro on the windshield. If you guys are traveling, please be safe. Take a few extra minutes. Take a few extra pit stops. It's not worth rushing anything, especially on the drive home, like Monday or Tuesday, there's gonna be just a crazy amount of traffic, everybody trying to get back to where they were going. But yes, please be safe, please be careful. We want to see you all every day thereafter today. Please. So we're out here at the lake, father and son. It's very windy and I apologize up front. Even with the windscreen, it still doesn't help. It does, but it doesn't. So. Yes, we're out here. Let's walk over here. And we, this is our other location that we have found. There is tons of boats, tons of people jet skiing out there, which is totally epic. And that's, we've flown over these, uh, over there before. Over there. I think. Well, we did something. And we're going to do more. So we're going to walk over here in the shade. Holy cow, is it shady dark over here? Now, now we're in the shade and it's nice. Ha, uh, hello. What's up, buddy? What's up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So yes, we'll stay underexposed so that behind us is what it should look like. So that's what you guys see right now. Yes, because we can do that. And then we'll come back so we're a little more and I'll come this way. There we go. So yes, we're out here. What's this up, my son? Hello. Brayden was just out there on that tree that was in the water. So, there's zero power lines. There is, this is just perfect out here. Yeah. I still, it's still bright. I don't know how you survive without sunglasses. <laughs> ah, much better. So, oh look, ducks. They're Hello. like chilling. Hello. Hello, little ducks. So we parked way over here, not way over there, but we parked over there. And now we are going to, I think get the Phantom out, right? Yeah. So this is a pretty good spot, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Fly over a few boats. Oh, they're tubing. And get the tubers. Yeah, we're doing this. All right, to the car for more gear. Let's roll. To the car, Batman. Yep. Robin? Well, I'd be Batman, you'd be Robin. Okay, okay cool.
that was some fun out there. Yeah. Yeah, we saw the boats, we took in some sun, we were by the water, we were father and sunning. Father and sunning, is that a thing? We'll say it is. Now it is. But yes, yeah, so that was fun. I had a good time out there. So did I. Some people out there fishing, and so we're going to head over and grab something to drink because we had something to drink, but it's like 90 and hot out, so now we're really thirsty. So we're going to grab a drink and then head home. And then, because you guys just saw the drone stuff already, we haven't, and I want to look at it, especially the part where I almost smashed the guardrail. And that guy was certainly in a hurry, Mr. Braden. <laughs> Shouldn't be driving like that on Memorial Day weekend, or any day for that matter. I'm not sure what his hurry was. He, maybe he was upset. Maybe he was upset about something, we don't know. So we're gonna grab a drink, go home, chill out and probably eat some dinner after bits nearing that dinner time. I'm kind of a little worn out from being out at the lake this afternoon. It was nice. Yeah. It's nice. We're in the shade, we're in the sun, a little time-lapse action, a little smash the phantom into a guardrail almost, and that was, the air brakes do work. I repeat, air brakes do work on at least the phantom 3 pro. That's the only one I've used it on. And there was kind of a, it was life or death. It was either pull up, pull back, or just let off. So I relied on the technology and it came through. Again, clutch. Thank you for that DJI for allowing me to not smash my Phantom into a guardrail due to uh, me being a Maverick. If you're not familiar with Maverick, watch the movie Top Gun. Maverick was dangerous. I repeat, Maverick was dangerous and I'm dangerous. That's right. Ice man, I am dangerous. But if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> to the home we go, to the back cave. It's not really a back cave, it's actually a two story townhouse, but we're gonna call it a back cave for right now, because that's where we're going to the back cave. What's up, little ninja turtle? What's up? How's that shower? Good. I need to take one too. We we're kind of hot and sweaty out there today, huh? Yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah. See, everyone's already seen the drone footage. They're so lucky. They watch the vlog and they see it. Meanwhile, I'm looking at it and editing. <laughs> but some of it, Brayden, wow. Incredible. So, what are you gaming? Black what are you Ops playing? Blops 1. The Blops 1. Blops 1. Yeah, boy. Are you getting hungry? Uh, no. No? No. No Memorial Day festivity dinner yet? Not yet. Soon? Sure. Sounds good. All right. Well, I guess nice chatting with you then. <laughs> Good luck in your gaming adventures. I'm cool. My friend. Holler at your boy. Shababis. A.K.A. Mr. Braden. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gave me the look. <laughs> I want to show you guys something here, kind of talk about for just a second, like the importance of color grading your footage. You don't have to. Um, it is completely optional, but if you want to make your, you know, your videos look a little better, you know, and you or add, you know, kind of an artistic feel. So uh, what we're looking at here, I'm going to kind of scrub this clip here. So this is a clip that you guys saw earlier today, okay? So this is actually me in real time editing it, but... So here's the clip, all right? Looks pretty good. Okay, well, I have applied the color corrections already to that. So here's the clip as it was shot straight out of the DJI Phantom 3 using the uh, D-Log uh, color profile, which is pretty flat, which enables, enables a lot more video editing. So you can see, I mean, the clip still looks good. However, you know, it could look better. So let me zoom in here for you, make life a little bit easier. Okay, so here's the clip. I mean, it's still a decent clip, you know. Don't mind the kind of screen looking funny there, because that's just what happens when you record a screen. So, but then you can see the actual color corrections that I've applied. I mean, it's a night and day difference between what you had and then what you have. So as you can see, I mean, I've color corrected as well as, you know, adjusted for white balance and things because with that sun being highly reflective off the water, naturally that's an overexposed sh shot. Sorry, memory card full. Uh, what I was saying was naturally with that sun being over the water, uh, naturally it's an overexposed shot. So 
you know, I've adjusted like mid tones, uh, brought the highlights down and the shadows. And that's what, for example, enables. Now, if you want to see what that, you know, that was the shot without adjustments to just exposure, like shadows, mid tones, highlights. And then we can just undo those changes. And then that's the adjustment. So that way you get a little better contrast, a little better color with the boat. So overall, just a much better a much better clip color graded so I'm gonna be doing I think some tutorials on my main channel so be looking for that uh, this is with Final Cut Pro so be looking for that man what a great day that was well is today <laughs> watch how excited my son gets when I tell him we're gonna have pizza and wings for dinner he just got out of the bathroom I heard the toilet flush he doesn't know yet because I was kinda late to the dinner and Pizza Hut came through clutch on the five dollar deals $5 medium pizza, $5 wings. We have to go get it, but down the street. He's about to come out the bathroom. I'm going to tell him upstairs. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. That'd be awesome. Right there. Shameless plug. Hey, Brayden. Yeah. Guess what we're going to have for dinner? What? I just ordered us some uh, wings and pizza. What do you think about that? Great. Great. Nice and great. Those are great adjectives from a teenager. So we're going to go jet down the street. It's literally like 9 o'clock. We're getting tired. We're going to eat, come back, probably eat, watch a movie, and then edit. But we'll show you our pizza when we get back home. Hey, Brayden, are you ready to go? Uh -huh. Are you ready to go? Yeah. He is ready to go. Let's go get this pizza. Well, that's kind of weird. Just looking at the TV screen. Hello. Oh. Hello. So what do you think about pizza and wings? Oh. I tried to surprise you. I was like, wait till you guys hear how excited my son will be about pizza and wings. <laughs> and then I'm, you're like, okay, great. I think it's but, sure great. Sure great. But he is actually excited. Guys, we have made it back home successfully on our journey to the Pizza Hut. At which point we got the eight boneless wings with honey barbecue and... These were each $5 with their $5 deals, which is nice. And then the medium hand toss sausage pizza, which is our favorite. Well, they call it pork topping. We call it sausage. And then open those up away from the mic because it's just everything's so loud as I shield the mic from the pops and booms of packaging. And then the wings. A couple of plates. One child one adult so we are getting ready to eat not a child he is not a child but yet a teenager we us are getting ready to eat brayden did yeah. you have a good day today mm -hmm. was a good day at the I lake feel great it was a good day at the lake we're gonna eat i am tired i want to eat uh edit i think we're gonna watch a movie but now it's like 10 o'clock it's like already too late because we're like so, but guys, I'm Ryan Rigg, the host of show, Ryan Vlogs 2, not the number two. Not like you're going to maybe eat some pizza, because you should. But T.O., like in addition, like also, unless you just don't like pizza. But if you guys enjoyed the vlog today and you watched it all the way through, you're awesome. And I really do, like really do appreciate it, because I'm sure you had a thousand other things you could have done. But you watched the vlog, and you're awesome. And Braden says, thanks. Thanks. But uh, we do appreciate it, so... Glad you guys came along, and uh, yeah, we'll see it. No, I'm just joking. But if you guys watched it all the way through, like I said, appreciate it. Click the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, become a friend of the channel with that magical red subscribe button. And if you watched it all the way through, leave the comment down below, pizza. That's right, pizza. Whether you like it or not, you should like pizza, but if you don't, I understand. <laughs> but leave the comment down below, pizza. I don't know you watched it all the way through, but guys, Ryan Rigg, Braden Rigg. And we'll see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time for a new vlog.